The Samsung Galaxy Z Trifold, or maybe Galaxy G Fold, depending on what name Samsung finally goes with, is just around the corner, and the excitement is real. We're now less than two weeks away from its official launch, and tons of new details have surfaced, including some official animations that reveal something no one expected. Let's dive in today. We've got some major updates on Samsung's upcoming foldable beast. First off, it's now confirmed that the Galaxy Trifold won't be limited to China or South Korea, according to new reports. Both the US and the UAE are getting the device too, and that's a big deal. It shows that Samsung isn't treating this as a prototype or a niche experiment. They're going all in, putting this futuristic foldable in front of more users worldwide. Now, here's something interesting. The trifold packs three batteries, one for each panel, each slightly larger than the last. While we don't have official numbers yet, leaks suggest a total capacity around 5,000 to 5,500 milliamp hours which would be impressive considering the device is said to be thinner and lighter than the Z Fold 7. The Z Fold 7 has just 4,500 milliamp hours, so that's already a solid upgrade. But the part that truly blew everyone away, the camera system dot, those leaked official animations inside. One UI show the Trifold's camera app hitting up to 100x zoom. Yes, 100x. That's something we've only seen on Samsung's Ultra flagships, never on the Fold series. To achieve that, Samsung would likely need to include the 5OMP 5X periscope lens from the S24 Ultra. This could still be a placeholder, but if it's legit, then this might be the first fold with ultra-level camera hardware. And that's huge news. Next up, let's talk about Samsung DeX, and this is where things get really exciting. Unlike the Z Fold series, where you can only run DeX when connected to an external monitor, the Trifold runs full DeX directly on the inner display. You're basically getting a desktop interface on your phone. With multitasking, window resizing, and even multi-monitor support, this feature alone could blur the line between a smartphone and a full-blown tablet. The animations also highlight one UIS massive screen layout optimized for the Trifold's wide display. You can continue apps from the cover screen to the main display, open multiple windows, side by side, and even use Galaxy AI in split view without cramping your content. Incoming calls appear in a floating window, and you can drag it anywhere. It's sleek, minimal, and perfect for multitasking. Plus, in portrait mode, the trifold looks just like an e-reader or tablet, rotating the home screen and showing more widgets and apps than ever before. In almost every scene, the trifold behaves more like a tablet than a phone from its multitasking layout to the full DeX interface. And that's clearly Samsung's goal, to make this the first device. That truly replaces both your phone and tablet. If the battery life holds up and the 5X periscope zoom turns out to be real, the Galaxy Trifold could easily become Samsung's most versatile device ever. One that redefines what a foldable can do. Personally, I'm super excited to see this in action. I've always loved large displays and this could be the ultimate hybrid experience. So what do you guys think? Would you actually replace your phone and tablet with this? Let me know in the comments below.